I thought I lost the squash bag, but I think it loves me. It's with me. Doing? Uh, you're staying dry. Oh, me. You see what I see? How have I missed that? Look at it. If it wasn't thunderstorming, I would go down. I was looking to see how many I might find to pull, and I thought, what is that? I think it looks more like a zucchini. I do not know. I know it seems like I focus a lot on my cucumbers, and I do because of all the critters I've had on it, but so far, I think I might be winning the battle. I don't see any larvae on the leaves. I'm not seeing any critters so far. I do see damp. Oh, I spoke too soon. Right here. What, I see something right here, too. But this is the damage it does from the Mexican beetles. Well, the squash bug left me. But <clears throat> I've got more cucumbers. And I've got some I need to pick. <laughs> One I must have missed the other day. Look how big. Down there. And this one back here. Look at that one back here. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a close up. I thought I lost the squash bug, but I think it loves me. It's with me. Let me get it down. <laughs> and I thought I'd lost it. And I need to get yellow leaves off. That'll have to wait till later, but I'm going to go collect I had to cucumbers. get a close up video of this cucumber. I think it's my biggest one yet, and it's it's a pretty cucumber, isn't it, Mischief? You don't eat cucumber, do you? And I've got to get one. I see, oh, I see two back there I need to get. What you doing out here, baby? Mischief, I found another cucumber down here. Get out of my cucumber plants. I'm out here after the thunderstorm to see what kind of damage. Something's really been eating on those leaves, and I'm not sure what that even is. Probably radishes. This is a pepper plant that broke off last week, and I thought, well, I'll replant it and see if it comes back, because I had a tomato plant come back. More radishes. Look at all my tomatoes. I miss Chip. I need to come over here and get some flip. I know I'm going to have to shore up some. I see them down. Yeah. But I got some tomatoes turning red, and I'm going to collect them this morning. I don't want anything else getting my first red tomatoes. But I've got that when I need to shore up. <laughs> it's hard to walk anywhere when you got a cat standing on your foot. And look, one of the kittens came out here with us. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. You eyes are dirty. I got to get them clean. Mommy should be cleaning them. But I don't believe these are going to be better boys. They're already turning. They're supposed to, no, they're supposed to be beefsteak, according to the sign over here. But look how little, and they're turning red, so I'm picking those too. Look at the clusters. Yay, I think I've seen one or two split when I came in between the thunderstorms yesterday, so I need to find those and get those off. But, and there's another red one, and that one needs to be shored up more. They're heavy, very heavy. I'm gonna take this in and take a picture of it because I thought I had a fungus, but then I heard a show that says it may not be a fungus. It has supposed to have some kind of rings in it or something. I don't see rings in it. I'm going to see if I can find another one that was worst off and get it. But anyway, I'm going to get these tomatoes. Yes, I am. I take my successes where I can get them. 
Look at that beautiful okra. Just one so far, but isn't it beautiful? I'll have to find out when that can be pulled. What? What? I done got mischief out here. And I'm afraid if I stop now, I won't get it done. And I've been tearing off leaves like this. But I know I've got another. Look at this. <laughs> this right here. I'm thinking... Is that the tomato plant that broke off and then I put it in the ground? I don't know. I got to shore it up. I think I got a better sample of what's going on in the garden to look at. But I'm going to pull these two tomatoes. They're tea delicious. Oh, me, if you were here. I think I got a little new companion for the garden. It's just staying right with me, aren't you? Are you staying right with me? I'm cutting out leaves like that. If it's not a fungus, they say you really don't have to, or that's what I heard. But I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. Like this one. Let me see. And if it's a fungus, they say the spores travel. So I need to get a hydrogen peroxide mixture is what I heard. That's the ones I was going to take off. See how they're split on the bottom? I think that little one's going to wind up being mischief sidekick. <laughs> it acts just like mischief. But I've got beautiful peppers better than I ever had last year. Last year, my peppers didn't do good at all. And I believe these are radishes. And I think they're supposed to poke through the ground. And I think I seen one here the other day. I dropped my scissors. Let's see. I thought I seen one in here. Don't right there. I'm letting it grow. I think that's the one. But more peppers. More peppers. I know I'm gonna have to come back out here and do some more shoring up, but this is as far as it's gonna get right now. I've got other things I gotta get done today. It's just one thing I do in the mornings. If you see this on your plants, get rid of. This is the larva of the Mexican beetle. My first larva I have found this year. Hi, Mr. Mr. B. But yeah, you get rid of those. Don't keep them in your garden. That's the first one I've seen. The larva to the Mexican beetle. And this little creature is doing its job. It's pollinating. What a beautiful sight. And just when I think <laughs> I'm going in, I have to deal with this creature. Is that a big squash bug? Bigger than the ones I've been seeing, if it is. I got to get I don't it. think that was a squash bug. I think that was a June bug. I don't know if they do damage or not, but I'm having to get snails after the rain and seeing praying man is what's it gonna do my little praying mantis are y'all destructible i don't know are y'all destructive i'm gonna have to find out but you're sure are cute i'm gonna leave you for now but i gotta get this one and the squash bugs they're relentless too. I've got some up here mating again. Another snail. I gotta get it. I have to see how many days it was since I got my last cucumbers because look at this. And that one, a humongous. I know I shouldn't let them get this big, but they were hiding. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 122. Do I have 23? I'll recount them. My first red tomato, I pulled it for something, ate it. That's what normally happens to me. And these definitely aren't beef steak. They're some kind of. Do y'all know what these are? Maybe a salad tomato? That one fell off when I 
try to get the one that was split. That's not root rot. It's just split, so I wanted to go ahead and take it off. But that's my morning harvest. I'm counting 22 cucumbers, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And I still have to collect eggs. I don't think anything else in the garden. She just made me an egg. She did. <laughs> I've seen it drop. I don't know if my Dollar Tree headset's gonna survive the rain that we were in. It wasn't supposed to. You get out of there, no wonder nothing grows. Out, out, out. We're gonna find y'all other beds. Be glad I'm not worried about that one. Yeah, you too. That it came a rainstorm after I collected everything and looking for my headset and it was out here. These are the twins. My barn cats. My barn cats. I got you. I got you. between the thunderstorms yesterday, so I need to find those. <laughs> I see something right here, too. But this is the damage it does. 